four weeks out from SmackDown's next premium live event, Judgment Day. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to WWE 2K24 Universe Mode. Welcome to SmackDown as we got the WWE Hall of Famer, the legendary Rey Mysterio is back, man. Listen, we haven't seen Rey Mysterio since WrestleMania. 2K23, it was that Extreme Rules match against Bad Bunny that he lost. Rey Mysterio is back looking for a clean slate as he's going one-on-one -on -one with the arrogant Aussie, Grayson Waller. And speaking of Aussie, Rhea Ripley, she's made it known she's coming after Ronda Rousey and that women's title. She's going one-on-one -on -one with the upstart, Ivy Nile. And then in our main event tonight, it's a fatal four-way match. We've been having qualifying matches the last four episodes. Listen, winner of this fatal four-way will go on to Judgment Day to face the WWE Champion main event, Jey Uso, for the WWE title. When I, hey, hey, they know. The run hot, my heart gonna stay froze. You know how that day go. I can't stop, no. Man, we got the very arrogant Grayson Waller, man. But like I said, our main event tonight, Austin Theory, Seth Rollins, Damian Priest, Dominic Mysterio. One of those four men will be facing main event Jey Uso at Judgment Day for the WWE title, man. This is a major look. For Grayson Waller here to start off SmackDown. Imagine if you just continue to add to the dark cloud that's already on Rey Mysterio's head. He lost to Bad Bunny at WrestleMania. And imagine losing to Grayson Waller here tonight. No offense to Grayson Waller, man. But appreciate all y'all for tuning in, man. Kick back, relax, enjoy the show. We are on the road to SmackDown's Judgment Day premium live event man referee charles robinson officially starting to match ray mysterio out the gate man looking for a clean slate mysterio's been around long enough to know you win some you lose some man but losing to a celebrity a singer an artist a musician like bad bunny on the grand stage of wrestlemania it definitely poked some holes in ray mysterio's armor i'm not even gonna lie and imagine how Ray feels his son Dominic Mysterio in the main event tonight with an opportunity to become number one contender for the WWE title is Ray. Nice splash into a cover. Grayson in trouble to kick out at one. You know, for Grayson Waller, man, he has everything to gain with the win tonight. Ray Mysterio is a former world heavyweight champion, WWE champion. Royal Rumble winner, tag team champ, U.S. Intercontinental. Listen, you name it, Rey Mysterio pretty much has held it, man. Mysterio's been in the ring, been wrestling since Waller was in diapers, man. Grayson Waller looking to change the narrative into his favor. He was unsuccessful at WrestleMania in that Money in the Bank ladder match. And Rey, nice moonsault. On to Grayson and Grayson trying to create some space from the Hall of Famer. Grayson Waller. Oh, kick right to the gut. And Ray, Ray, Ray got Waller in trouble. Dialing it up. Well, there you go, 619 count. He's, he's caught. And Waller, nice. Nice. Oh, right handed Waller, nice. And I'm not even going to lie, this match right here may have just shifted into the favor of Grayson Waller, man. Waller's already an arrogant individual, but putting away a former world heavyweight champion and Rey Mysterio here tonight, oh, we would not hear the end of it, man. And Grayson, it's easy to get lost in the sauce when you just got raw SmackDown rosters. Listen, the rosters are huge. And win here tonight. Look at this. Look at this. It was a triangle choke. On to Ray. But Ray quickly able to get out of this move. A move that he's been put in a ton of times throughout his career. Not just in WWE. But you look at WCW and other wrestling promotions as well. And Ray with a springboard cross body. Let's go. And Ray Mysterio. Looking to gain some of that momentum back that he had before WrestleMania. 
Started off with a clean slate. Oh, and the frog splash countered. And Grayson Waller now looking to take advantage. Spine Buster to Ray. This is in 2K23. Grayson Waller pretty much mocked Dolph Ziggler leaving the WWE. Go back to that series to check that out, man. Waller has been arrogant. He's been cocky, man. I introduced him in my universe mode by having Shane McMahon at his side. Since then, Waller is broken out to be on his own. Got Waller, Ray in a bad positioning right here, man. I've seen this move a ton of times, and I love this move right here. Look at that. Into a stunner. And Ray might be down for the count. Count it, ref. Ray, no. And Ray kicks out. Does not want to take another loss. That's not how you started off. And Waller cannot combat the quickness of Rey Mysterio. Now Rey. Oh. Gonna dislocate the damn leg of Waller. Rey Mysterio. Veteran. Ultra legend. And Waller, no, gets caught by Ray. And Ray now. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. And Ray not letting go. Nice. DDT planting Waller. And now if I'm Ray Mysterio, I got one thing in my mind and one thing only, and that's the 619. But I wonder why Ray isn't going for it. And now Grayson Waller now. Dragging Rey Mysterio to the other side of the ring. And now Waller, evil intentions. As he goes up to the top. And Grayson Waller, look at this. Oh, that was nice. Oh, and a kick out at two, man. That was beautifully executed. Nice diving elbow from the ropes, from the middle row. That is crazy. Shades of Shane McMahon, low key. No, Shane never did it quite like that, but variation. Oh, and I think Waller was looking for another stunner, but Ray took him down immediately. Forearm to the face, kicks to the gut. Waller not trying to lose his momentum, but it's looking like it's slipping from his grasp. Another crossbody to Grayson, and here's the cover. Is Grayson down for the count on Ray? And he is. Ray Mysterio. Just be Grayson Waller, man. That was unexpected ending, man. That was unexpected. But Rey Mysterio is victorious here. The clean slate for Rey. We are back here on SmackDown four weeks out from Judgment Day, in which tonight we find out who becomes number one contender for Jey Uso's WWE title at that event, man. But ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you, this woman is gonna be a problem in the WWE for years to come. She goes by the name of Ivy Nile, looking to break out on her own here. And what a major way to break out as Ivy Nile is getting set to go one-on-one -on -one with a former women's champion, one of the longest reigning women's world champions, that being Rhea Ripley. No doubt about it, man. Ivy now does not skip a gym day. Look at the freaking, she's built out of like a, like sculpture rocks, man. This is crazy. Be a massive upset if Ivy now takes down this woman, man. And now Rhea Ripley has made it known that she has her eyes set on our current WWE, not only one half of the women's tag team champs, but the current WWE women's champion, Ronda Rousey, Rhea's coming. Rhea Ripley targeted Ronda Rousey, believes that no one else can cut in line in front of her. Because right at this point, Ronda is fresh meat for Rhea Ripley, man. As we head into Judgment Day, so how fitting 
Judgment Day Premium Live event. Rhea Ripley of the Judgment Day versus Ronda Rousey, man. Imagine you piece it all together. If Damian Priest wins tonight, Fatal 4-Way, he'll have a WWE title match at the Judgment Day Premium Live event. This mean streak of Rhea Ripley. Looking to make SmackDown women's division her division. All I know is if I'm Ronda Rousey, man, I'm watching my back. This is not someone I would want after me. Rhea Ripley means business. Here we go, man. Lights might be too bright for Ivy Nile in this match, but then again, who knows? Who knows? She can pull off the upset. Here we go. Rhea Ripley, Ivy Nile, man. Win or lose for Ivy tonight. She's definitely going to take some lessons from this match. Following this match is the Fatal 4-Way number one contenders match. to see who faces main event Jey Uso for the WWE title at SmackDown's next premium live event, Judgment Day, man. Rhea Ripley, hard-hitting, innovative in the ring. It's just an example of that, man. Diving elbow drop. Looking to put Ivy out of her misery early, but a kick out at one. Oh, Rhea Ripley might be trying to spare Ivy now. You go for a pin this early in the match, you kind of just want your opponent up out of there. You don't want to inflict more damage to your opponent. You don't want to turn it personal. For Rhea Ripley, when it comes down to championships, when it comes down to being the most respected woman in that locker room, it's always personal for Rhea. A nice kip up there from Ivy Nile. I oftentimes kind of, oh! That was crazy. I oftentimes kind of compared Ivy, you know, in a weird way, kind of similar to Ronda Rousey. Just facial features wise, maybe. Am I tweaking? Let me know. Ivy Nile looking to fight out of it. Nice into a bridge pen. Beautiful right there. Kick out at one. And Ivy, oh, not letting up. Like a rabid pit bull. Not even letting Rhea get any type of breathing space. Oh, wow. This is going to be a crazy upset, man. This is going to be a crazy upset, man. Count of three from the ref. Ivy now now tosses Rhea back inside. No, if I'm Ivy now, man, I want to match with Ronda Rousey. But she has so long to go until she can get that. Look at this. Rhea nice. Getting her get back for what Ivy did to her on the outside of the ring. And this match, like I said, can get very personal very fast. Here's a cover on to Rhea. Is Rhea out? Is she out? No. Kick out at two, man. Ivy now looking to find her way, find her place here on the SmackDown roster. Win tonight to put her on the map. And again, look at this strength right here. Rhea is no small woman. And Ivy now just lifting and slamming her down like she's nothing. And here's Ivy. Look at this move right here. This is a submission locked in. Rhea is in trouble. Rhea. Gets out of that immediately. Oh, and a kick. Say a knee right to the face. Rhea going up top. Rhea Ripley. Probably went into this match underestimating her opponent. Never underestimate your opponent. Rio, oh, man. These two going back and forth. Oh, no, no. Rio, oh, nice. Big boot to the face. And now Rhea, we've seen this move before. Ivy, nowhere to go. 
Nowhere to go. The ropes might as well be five miles away. And Ivy. Looks like Rhea didn't want her to, to tap out at that point. But Rhea, do not get overzealous at this point, man. Ah! For reasons like that, this match can shift in the direction of anyone at any time. And look at this strength from Ivy Nile. Rhea got the ropes. I believe that was going to be a submission move. I don't know how much damage it just did to Rhea. And look at Ivy again. Looking to put Rhea to sleep. Oh, and Rhea quick to get out of it again, man. And now Rhea Ripley. Nice drop kick. If I'm Rhea, man, I'm just going for all the heavy shots. I need to put this woman away. Ugh. Here's the cover now. Rhea may have just heard me put her away with a body slam. It's crazy. Okay. Okay. All right. I guess we're just not doing finishes like that anymore, man. Either way, Rhea Ripley is victorious. Next week on SmackDown Universe Mode, we hear from the man who brutally attacked our United States Champion, AJ Styles, on last episode of SmackDown Universe Mode, Chad Gable and this so-called new faction that he just formed. And also next week, the WWE Tag Team Championships are on the line as Raw's New Day, Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Wood will defend against a surprise tag team here on smackdown can woods and kingston keep the gold man main event time here on smackdown we are about to find out who faces our wwe champion main event jay uso in four weeks time at smackdown's first premium live event judgment day and we got mr a town down austin theory man now listen, this right here, this will be a major opportunity. Austin Theory has never, ever in his young career in the WWE held the WWE title, but a win tonight for Austin Theory. That'll bring him Jay Uso. And that's all, listen, all he needs is to beat Jay at Judgment Day and you win that WWE Championship. And imagine the SmackDown being ran by Austin Theory. Imagine Austin Theory as the locker room leader. Oh my goodness. Talk about going to the head. Now this is a fatal four-way match. First pinfall or submission. We'll end this match. The winner gets a first class ticket to the main event of Judgment Day, man. Austin Theory, probably the uh the least popular vote to win this match man but you never know you never know man anything can happen here in the universe mode it's a new era it is a new era here on smackdown man Austin theory once deemed as the future of the wwe but guess what daddy isn't here anymore so you gotta earn it yourself man and here we go man Dominic Mysterio, this man was a NXT champion in my 2K23 universe mode. He won his respected, uh, I want to say his, his qualifying match a few weeks ago to qualify for this Fatal 4-Way match. And we saw earlier tonight the interaction between Dom and his father. Dom not even acknowledging his father, Rey Mysterio, who returned earlier tonight and defeated Grayson Waller. Dom is trying to be his own man. He wants to break out of his father's shadows. And honestly, he's been doing a damn good job of it. Like I said, he was NXT champion in my 2K23 universe mode, which is, you know, carrying over into this universe mode. 
Imagine a win tonight, Dom heading on to Judgment Day to challenge for the WWE title. Can you imagine the Mysterio family? Just the lineage once again adding another championship to the trophy case. Even though Dom is trying to become his own man, as you see from the gear, inspired by the late great Eduardo Guerrero, aka Eddie Guerrero, man. One of my favorites growing up was Eddie Guerrero, man. And you know, Dom, I remember seeing Dom as the little kid on SmackDown, the custody of Dom ladder match, man. That, that incredible feud with Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero the summer of 05, man. It was one of my favorite feuds on SmackDown that summer. Um, but yeah, man, Dom is a grown man. Dom is grown now. Dom has his own legacy to carve out now. Pretty sure if it was up to Dominic, he would change his last name to Guerrero. That's how much he despises his father, Rey Mysterio, man. Dominic Mysterio trying to stand on his own here on SmackDown. 2K24, man. And how poetic would this be, right? SmackDown's first premium live event titled Judgment Day. Imagine if this man, Damian Priest, main events Judgment Day. Now, things have been kind of up and down for the Judgment Day these last number of weeks. Finn Balor, of course, winning that European title at WrestleMania in a match against Drew McIntyre, then losing it to Gunther at Backlash. And now you got Rhea Ripley coming after Ronda Rousey in the WWE Women's title. Listen, if Damian Priest wins this tonight, Judgment Day could indeed be Judgment Day's night. There's no real direction for where Finn Balor goes from here, but as of right now, Rhea Ripley has her eyes set on the women's title, and a win tonight, Damian Priest will have his eyes set on the WWE Championship and main event Jey Uso. I feel like if Priest gets the job done here tonight and becomes WWE Champion in four weeks' time, the hierarchy of the Judgment Day may change. Yes, there's no leaders in the Judgment Day, but uh, if you become WWE Champion, uh, it might be by default that you run that uh, that faction. Not even gonna lie. As we await the final participant in this fatal four-way match, we got Seth freaking Rollins, man, who was the first to qualify for this fatal four-way match. And this is honestly the odds on favorite to win it. Seth Rollins, the only man in this match to have held the WWE Championship. The only man in this match to have main evented WrestleMania. The only man in this match to have won the Royal Rumble. Come on, man. Seth freaking Rollins, man. And here tonight, man, Rollins has a resume of a, of, a, of a vet at this point. You know, a future Hall of Famer. Rollins has done it all in his WWE career. And tonight, it's just another day at the office. It's a win in a fatal four-way match. It's the championship match against Jey Uso at Judgment Day. If Rollins gets the job done here tonight, and we could once again be in the era of Rollins. Rollins always dappered down, dressed to the occasion, and can also back it up in the ring, man. So here we go. First pinfall or submission ends this match. This is a fatal four-way match. Winner will face Jey Uso in the main event of SmackDown's next premium live event, Judgment Day. Every man for himself. He might see some, uh, some odd team-ups in this. But here we go. Referee Charles Robinson. The match is now underway, man. You know, this match can go anyway. Might be a lot of action to call all over the place, too. And Dominic Mysterio, beautiful athleticism. But Charles Robinson got taken out in the crossfire of that, man. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. And now Rollins now pumping it up on Dominic Mysterio. Oh, nice. Rollins got caught with one. Right to the face, a super kick from Priest. You know, one of the four men in this match have held the WWE title, man. So there's a three out of four chance, a 75% chance 
that the winner of this match will be somebody who's never been WWE Champion, which will make for a very intriguing main event at Judgment Day. Now, one thing about this match, look at Theory. One thing about this match is, man, all four of these men have earned this opportunity. They have all won qualifying matches to be involved in this Fatal 4-Way match. This wasn't just put together. They've all earned this opportunity. And look at that electric chair to Dominic Mysterio. Look at this history right here between Damian Priest and Seth freaking Rollins. You know, we got a mixture of uh, veterans, guys like Damian Priest, a nice swing blade, and Dom had a sledgehammer as Rollins now got the cross face in, cross faces in. Damian Priest, maybe in another world, Dom would have been in Judgment Day in this universe mode, but Dom has been standing out on his own throughout my universe mode series. A nice crossbody, springboard crossbody. Like I said, man, you got the newcomers, the not newcomers, but the guys that will be the future of this business. Guys like Dominic Mysterio and Austin Theory. Referees just getting caught in a crossfire, and that was an incredible German suplex from Mr. Theory. And a German suplex from Dom now as Dom got taken down by Austin. This match has kind of shifted in Austin Theory's favor for the time being. Theory is not missing at the moment. And now look at Priest going to that not so good back of Seth Rollins. I said so much action. The call is Rollins now got the small package on Austin Theory. Down got a kendo stick in hand. And everybody, oh, and Dominic Mysterio. And now Rollins got a kendo stick, and Theory just got hit in the face. Dom got Priest down for the cover. Rollins realizing that this match could have been over that fast. Oh, and Priest with that sledgehammer. Sledgehammer to the gutter, Rollins, man. It's like, yeah, you could become number one contender, but at what cost? Will you even be 100% heading into Judgment Day? Dom getting out of that German suplex that time from Theory. Not want to repeat of earlier in this match. Rollins, nice. First pinfall or submission ends this opportunity, ends this match. For one man, it's on to the dream of a lifetime. For another, or for I should say for the other three, it's back to the drawing board, man. Rosters are huge in this universe mode, so it's easy to get lost in the sauce. As I stated before, it's Rollins with an assault with that sledgehammer onto Damian Priest. Believe we got Dominic Mysterio busted open on the outside of the ring by Austin Theory. It's Damian Priest, nice springboard forearm to Rollins, looking to put this match away and head to Judgment Day. This match is still, still underway. And now it's Austin Theory's turn now. Put Priest away, but I believe it was Dom that broke it up in Rollins. Rollins just hit a pedigree on Dominic Mysterio. I would have pinned Dom at that point if I were Rollins, but Rollins is not done yet. You know what comes next. And this match right here, it could be over after that curve stomp. And Austin Theory quickly breaking that up expeditiously. Rollins was so close to ending that match right there. With Damian Priest, nice. Catching Theory, taking him out of the equation for the time being. And now Theory looking to get his ticket to Judgment Day. Looking to get Judgment Day back on top. This Rollins is now in trouble. And Rollins getting out of that though. Into a neck breaker. Now Dominic Mysterio, nice Hurricane Rana, but a sledgehammer shot to the back of Dom. And these weapons just adding up. Now here's the cover, and Rollins now. Like I said, Rollins is definitely the, the uh, odds-on favorite to win this match here tonight. 
And now it's Theory. Now it's Theory. Nice submission on Rollins. Now Damian Priest. Rollins now going outside for a breather. It's Priest. Look at this move right here, man. Seen that earlier in the match. And Theory just got a super kick right to the face. It's now Seth Rollins. No. Couldn't work out the momentum to go for that stump that time. But he's going for it this time. Priest is down. And Dom quickly saving the match. Now Dominic Mysterio. The sunset flip. And now it's Austin Theory. Maybe it's A-Town down. Maybe it's Austin's time. Dominic Mysterio realizing, man, you got to get Theory out of here. You got to get him out of this equation. What Theory was looking for at that point. The Theory now worked his way back into a crossface from Rollins, but that submission was quickly broken up. And this is what an opportunity at the WWE title does for these participants. Is now Dom is locked in a crossface. If Dom taps, Seth is going to Judgment Day. Dom smart to go for a breather on the outside as Damian Priest shows off his power. In theory, oh, sledgehammer shot from Priest. In theory, may be out of commission the remainder of this match. As Priest now again goes to work on Rollins. And now it's Dom. In theory already back to his feet. I thought Theory was out of here. So much action. It's a cluster in the ring right now. Damian Priest looking to put away Dom. Looking to end Dom's dreams of going to Judgment Day. And Priest. Oh, Rollins breaks up that pin. And it might be Seth Rollins' time. Theory and Mysterio are down. Priest is on the outside. Priest is knocked out on the outside. It's Dom now. Where is Theory going? Where is Theory going? And here's the cover onto Rollins, but Theory. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Man, Smash could end so fast at any moment, man. At any moment. Rollins on the outside. Dom has a sledgehammer in hand. This is not a good sight. Theory is taken down. Priest, I don't know what Priest is looking for, but Dom, two steps ahead of Damian Priest. And Rollins is looking for some toys. Rollins got a kendo stick. Priest with a kip up. And Theory is going to be marked up this weekend. And now Rollins. Kendo stick in hand. Oh, it just broke it across the body of Dominic Mysterio. And it might be Seth Rollins' time. It's looking like it's Seth Rollins' time, but no. Man, this match could go any which way. Oh, in theory, chair shots to the face of Rollins. Yo, chair shots to the face of Rollins. Took away his momentum. Yo, Dom is going to Judgment Day. Dirty Dominic Mysterio has become number one contender for Jey Uso in the WWE Championship.